Hey there viewers, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be setting up a SMTP client through Node.js. So essentially we're just going to be sending out emails on behalf of a Gmail email address and uh, we're going to just send them off to different people. We're going to do a few attachments as well, um, just all the basic stuff. So I hope you stay tuned. So um, if anyone was super interested, you can actually send emails um, using Node.js and this is actually a really helpful package um, that helps you achieve this. So let's get started. This is probably going to be a really quick video. So first of all, let's initialize our um, Node package. So yarn init-y so initializes our, our app um, and our package.json, then we just want to add node mailer over here. So node mailer is what's going to help us to create um, or sorry to communicate with Gmail and um, send emails on behalf of that email. So um, so now let's um, touch our index.mjs and the reason why we're doing mjs is because um, I want to use a module system. I don't really want to use a require. I feel like we're, it's slowly being standardized every day, so might as well just pick something that's um, gonna be the new standard moving forward. So ES module, so we can bring it in right now. So import node mailer from node mailer over here. So we have node mailer. And now let's initialize our, um, our sort of client. So we'll do const transport Tutor is equal to node mailer dot create um, transport and it's going to take a bunch of options so the first one is a host so um, Gmail has its own um, domain which you can connect to on a specific port that you can use to send e e emails on behalf of yourself so it's called s um, s m t p dot gmail dot com and it goes off port 587. So it goes off port 587. And the next thing we need is um, auth credentials. So uh, let me get that and auth credentials over here. Now we'll get the auth credentials soon. I'm just gonna leave this blank for now. So um, this is gonna initialize our sort of client to talk to the Gmail SMTP server. Uh, what we're going to do is also just make a function main over here and also um, call that function at the bottom, save that. And now everything looks good. So now we need to get our um, auth credentials um, through Gmail. So now you could use technically your own um, Gmail username, sorry, your own Gmail password. Um, but I'm going to generate a password on behalf of um, this application. So what we're going to do is the Gmail account of your choice. Okay, so mine specifically, I have a Gmail a a account. And um, if you go to account dot, let me see if I can remember, account dot, account dot google dot com over here. Um, it takes you to myaccount.google.com um, and if you are signed in with the correct email um, then it'll just take you here otherwise it'll uh, make you do some um, um, authorization just follow whatever google says in terms of um, authorization okay so if you go to the security tab over here and you scroll down you should see app passwords over here so if you click app passwords It'll ask, it'll prompt you for your email. Again, it might not, it might. Um, so just enter that in and then it'll take you to your app password. So now let's create an app, right? So I'm, I'm specifically, I'm going to need this for sending emails. I'm just gonna select mail and select device. I'm just gonna say other and say Node.js or Node.js. Um, honestly, this doesn't truly matter because it just needs to generate a password for you. So once you click accept, um, or that call to action button, you get a password over here that you can use to send emails on behalf of your email. So let me copy that and um, open my 
auth over here. So now we have to go to user. So I'm using my specific email address. Um, this is my own personal email address. So I'm just gonna put Floyd F A Jones at gmail.com. I can't even remember if that's my actual password. And then you put a pass and paste that in. Whatever you copied from um, that Google um, page, just paste that right in here. And now this should be enough information for you to go off of to um, send emails. So now let's send a quick email, right? So we got our transporter. So now all we need to do is use our transporter. So transporter dot um, send mail. And again, it'll take in a object and it'll take in a from. I guess the from um, truly doesn't matter because it's coming from you, but this is a way to customize it. I'm just gonna say t dot code over here. And it's coming from um, obviously my email, which is Floyd F A Jones at gmail.com. So one thing I'm gonna do is just put it in back ticks, um, just so I can put quotation marks over here and over here. Um, these quotation marks are important for formatting. Um, but again, adding from doesn't truly matter. You can try it yourself too. So now we need to um, we need to add a to. So we need to send it to someone. So for sending it to someone, um, actually I am gonna use this service called temp-email.org. Uh, and what this um, service does is it gives you these temporary emails that you can use for testing essentially. So you get this nice email over here, I'm gonna copy it to clipboard and I'm gonna go back to my code over here. I'm gonna paste that right in over there. So that, done that. And the next thing can be your subject. And it says, um, welcome to t.codes newsletter. I guess I don't really have a newsletter. Okay, it's so a subject. And then the next thing is, so for in terms of content, you can do two things. You can either add plain text and it can be whatever you want it to be. Um, but email also has this neat feature of, of pretty much adding HTML. So I prefer HTML. It's much more um, expressive. So you can do something like an H1 over here and it says, hello from t.code. And I'll close that um, H1 tag over here. So um, let's do this right now and let's see if this works, right? Uh, <laughs> you know how the demo gods work. So node index.mjs and we send that in and it seems like everything went through. Oh, the reason why we didn't see any cons helpful console logs is because we didn't attach any dens. So let's do that right over here. So then and then we'll say console.info. We'll pass console.info as a function to run. And then um, we're gonna catch any errors over here and do console.catch. Pretty helpful and, and quick ways to debug your application. But let's go back over here and see if we got any emails. So um, actually, if we look over here, welcome to t.codes newsletter. So if we click this, we see now this sort of H1 tag and it's fully bolded and it shows you um, the text that we sent. So let's do one more just for the fun of it. And it says, uh, hello, um, what's up from t.code. Save that and run this again. Now we get a nice little console info and we can go back to our mailer over here and we should get now another email address, oh, sorry, another email. Um, so this will probably be the one at the top and it says what's up from t.code. Okay, so now this is pretty useful. I'm gonna do one more thing and we're gonna call it an end for this video. Um, attachments are super valuable, right? If you can attach something in an automated fashion, like you pretty much covered 95% of your use cases for sending e emails. So let's do a quick attachment. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a, um, um, temp, uh, a, a random PDF file and then I will attach it. Okay, so I found this random PDF file over here. Just has some random text. Doesn't really, doesn't truly matter um, what's in this. It just, we just care that we have a PDF file to, to play with. So here's a bunch of um, encodings, I guess, that VS Code is, is sort of interpreting it as B, uh, in, interpreting it as it is. 
Um, so now let's attach it. So another um, key that this object takes is called attachments. So we can go to attachments over here and just how attachments is you can attach more than one. So it's actually going to be an array of objects and each object is going to have a file name. So again, I'm just going to say sample.pdf. You can rename this to whatever you like. Um, if you don't leave a name, it's just going to default to the file name. And now we need to attach the content. So now this is interesting. Um, we will have to use the FS module to do this. So there's an FS module called FS, um, FS dot um, read sync. I guess it didn't pull in the correct one. I want the entire FS module. So FS over here and I can do FS read sync. It reads it synchronously. Sorry, it's going to be create um, create read stream. Um, and ins inside create read stream, it's just going to take the path to where the file is. So it's just in my current directory and it's called sample.pdf. And now finally, I need to tell it the content type. So now the content type is just going to be application forward slash PDF. And this is truly everything you need to like, attach an email and send it. So let's give this a shot and see what we get. I'm not sure if this um, service also takes in attachments, but we will find out right now. So we have this one over here. We see an attachment icon, which is great. So we click that. And uh, where is my attachment? Uh, so it says, it said attachment, right? It said attachment right over there. So we click that and we, oh, okay, we can click download over here. So yeah, sure, let's, um, no, this is gonna download the email. So attachments over here, so click attachments. There we go, sample.pdf, click that. And we open this sample over here and we have our email that we also attach to it. So. Um, I don't want to keep this video any longer. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. You can attach this to your own web server and send emails out on behalf of yourself um, through your own personal email. One thing I want to mention is that um, Gmail does cap sending um, X amount of emails because this is your own personal email, right? It's not supposed to be meant to use for production or anything. So the cap is about 500 emails. And if you're doing small test app, 500 emails per day. So if you're doing small test applications, this is fine. But um, if you scale up, you definitely need to, um, they have a subscription that you can pay for. Um, but yeah, that's all the gotchas that I have. Um, and that's the end of this video. So um, if you really enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you um, drop a like. Um, also drop a subscribe to show some love. And um, let me know what you want to see from this channel. I'm always open to hearing about new suggestions. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.